I have a Positively Jacks update for you. It's about a previous winner who proves a thankful heart can lead to amazing things. Perhaps you remember John Marcus. We last talked about him oh, about a year ago when he became the owner of a wheelchair accessible van. Marcus says it has only fueled his mission to help others. Marcus was in his senior year at Rains High School. It was 2003 when he was involved in a serious crash that left him paralyzed. Maybe he couldn't move his legs, but he was moved to help others. Through the years, he raised money through charity drives, visited schools to help motivate others, and he served as a mentor sharing his story. Then in August of last year, Marcus told News for Jax he needed a wheelchair accessible van so he could expand his outreach and just get around. Well, News for Jax helped him get that van. And after hearing his story, donations came into his GoFundMe page and his goals became a reality. Fast forward to today. Show Joe your, uh, your threads there. John Marcus refuses to let the pandemic slow him down, and he's expanding his outreach. I partnered with this, uh, this uh, group called uh, Silent Women Speaking, so we've been sharing my story with those women who lost uh, their kids to gun violence in the area. So we've been doing a lot of programs with that and just sharing my story with them and just let them know that anything they're uh, going through, just because they, no matter what their situation is, they can still stay strong. And you're a man who's always looking forward. What's next? Uh, I do want to go to different cities like Orlando and Miami, share my story, and let them know about the John Marcus Project. So Thanksgiving is just around the corner. I've got to ask you, what are you thankful for? Uh, definitely thankful for the van. Uh, thankful for life, family, friends, uh, just, just being alive. So you heard John say he wanted to expand his outreach beyond Jacksonville, down the I-4 corridor to Orlando, Miami, and a stretch of I-10 to Tallahassee. He hoped to be well on his way with that by now, but the pandemic put up a few roadblocks. But John Marcus, in case you've not figured it out, is not one to let anything get in his way. He told me it will happen in the near future. You might also remember John Marcus's van has a special place in our hearts. Once belonged to News for Jack's executive producer, Sharon Siegel Cohen, who lost her fight to ALS. So we are just very happy that that van can help fuel his future and help spread his message. And Sharon would love to know that something that belonged to her is now being used to help someone else. Yeah, he is a man who has just an unbelievably positive attitude and he uses that positivity yeah. and, and lets people know, hey, it doesn't matter what happens in your life. You just move forward with life and you help others. That's his message. Yeah. And he's thankful for the ability to help others. It doesn't matter what happened in his past. What a fantastic yeah. heart he has. Such a special right? guy and it's Amazing to see the connection to our special Sharon Siegel Cohen. I know that I spoke with her parents and her son about it after this donation happened, and they were just so happy because they see this as her legacy living on in someone else. Yes, sir. Every day.